It's important that you understand how to select objects in Navisworks so that you can perform the movement and manipulation discussed in Chapter 7. The most straightforward way to select objects is with your mouse. On the Home tab, you can use the Select or Select Box tools to select objects. By default, any object you select will deselect the other objects. To select multiple objects, hold control while selecting the objects. Another important way to select objects is using the selection tree, which is one of your dockable windows. I'll recommend that you pin the selection tree open, otherwise when you select an object, it'll close. The selection tree is organized based on all the different drawings that make up your model, as well as the objects within those drawings and even their layers. I'll use the selection tree to select some of my exterior curtain walls. Then I'll add these to what's referred to as a set. I'll open the sets window, right click in the space, and say add current selection. Now anytime I want to select those objects, I can go to the sets, choose the set I created, and all those objects will be selected. Above the selection set, you'll notice a search set, which is named glazing. If I select the glazing search set, I'll notice that all the glass in my model is selected. To take a look at what makes up this search set, Let's look at the Find Items window. On the right side of the window, I'll notice that I have a search which is defined as containing the material with a name equal to AutoCAD Index 141, which is a color. This color is applied to all the glass in this model, so it's one way to search for glass. To create a search set, Use the Find Items window to find the items. Then go to Sets, right click, and say Add Current Search. Selection sets, such as Exterior 1, are not dynamic and only include the objects selected. Search sets, on the other hand, are based on properties of objects and as you add new objects to your model they'll be added to the appropriate search sets.